Flower and Moxie. I'm gonna be showing you how to make a dried boutonniere today and using a brooch pin for the actual pin to go on the jacket. So dried is fantastic because you can make these in advance. What I'm using today are star flowers, happy flowers, dried yarrow and these little pineapple buttons. So we'll go ahead and get started. And just before we get started, if uh, our videos help you in any way, like or subscribe and feel free to leave questions, visit flowermoxie.com to shop your DIY wedding flowers and to learn more. Okay, so dried is really, really fun uh, because you can take your sweet time, doesn't have to be hydrated. And I think it's just nice and playful. I feel that brides that like more terracottas and bohos really love this dried boutonniere vibe. So not a lot to it. We're just gonna gather up our little dried elements. That's kind of the hardest part because they're so thin and because they're dry, it feels like it slips through your fingers. So we're just gonna gather these guys up. We'll make it look interesting in a moment. But right now, it's just a matter of getting it in your hands. You can use all different types of things like bleached ruscus, bunny tail. Um, I can't remember, it's phalaris or ceteria that's thinner. Okay, so I'm gathering these little guys up. Super cute. And let's come in with these little pineapple buttons, which are new on our DIY supply website. And I love them. I think they're so cute. So because those are darker, I wanna make sure to use odd numbers. And I think I'm gonna try to see if I can do five of them. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I'm gonna try to calm it down and adjust it a little bit. So it's mainly just simply pulling up little blooms and augmenting the shape. And you don't have to go this wild, but I think I think it's really fun. Maybe I'll just do three. So if you're going with dried, don't make them the week of your wedding when you can make them a month before, just get them all knocked out in advance because you'll have a lot to do that week. Okay. So this yarrow, I broke off a few of these blooms and they were pretty short. So I just have kind of like a little stem. So what I'm gonna do is kind of put it around the base of the boutonniere and then maybe pull a few of these little star flowers into it so it doesn't. It's like I need tweezers to pick these up. So it doesn't look like just a big collar at the base and disjointed from the rest of the boutonniere. But I love the mustard color. I'll steal that guy from the back. And what really just makes this challenging is that the, the stems are so thin. I can bring that up a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna wrap some stem tape around it. And instead of squeezing it extremely tight, I want it to kind of spread out so it's a little bit flat within my fingers. Because if I were to bunch it all up again, it might change the, the the formation and the little composition that I have going. And it's so hard to make that first wrap, especially when you have such thin stems and short stem items like this yarrow. So I might have to work with it a little bit. 
I would say that the bleach ruscus and the um, bunny tail is probably a little bit easier to work with because it has thicker stems, but we're not afraid. Okay. And even though I've wrapped a little bit of tape around it, I can still, because I have extra tape, I can still add to. So if I want to add a few more sprigs in there or adjust it, I feel like I have quite a bit um, of a cluster in the middle. So I want to balance it out a little bit so I can find a few that I to pull out and bring on the back side. There we go. Okay. So let's spin that tape around and include those extras. So we're giving it a fresh cut. So we've got our little boutonniere and, you know, I'll sit and adjust it and get everything right where I want it. I would say that if you've got a lot sliding around, you can always maybe put a drop or two of floral glue down into that, to those stems to hold it together. But we'll go ahead and stop here because I can sit and, you know, dink around with that all day. So to pin it, you can always use a pixie pin. Um, this is how I typically uh, pin a boutonniere, but a lot of people are nervous about pinning boutonnieres and something new I discovered are these little brooch pins. So it's basically what would be on a brooch. It has a flat back, which is really nice. And so this is an alternative to a pixie pin. So I would lay it on the back of the uh, boutonniere that's already taped and put together. And you can take stem tape or waterproof floral tape. It doesn't matter which one and you include this um, brooch pin. Okay, so we have it like this. So that would be ready to go. And we're gonna hide the stem tape. You can use twine or some bind wire. I knock this guy out of the tape, okay. What I probably do is maybe glue that guy in there. And a low temperature hot glue gun would work. I would just be careful with your fingers because it's such small work. So at this point, we're just gonna get a little bit of bind wire. And I always find I like to be very clean and neat with my bind wire. So let me get this here on the other side so you can see. Um, Try not to make, let me pull that one out. Try not to make like a bird's nest out of it. Try to just go row by row all the way down. Not only will it look cleaner, you don't want like a thick mess of bind wire because it will be harder for your brooch. Like it will be harder to pin it. Okay, maybe I didn't need 10 yards of this stuff, <laughs> sorry. And the hard thing is just kind of navigating that pin while you're wrapping and not stabbing your finger. There we go. And I love bind wire just because you don't have to tie it. It just, it will just hold. And at this point, we can easily close this um, brooch pin. And you see how I have all this clearance, which is really nice. So that's why you don't want to go too thick with your twine or your ribbon or your tape. Just try to, you know, make singular wraps. And at this point, you can just do little adjustments because it's uh, stem tape. 
the little stems aren't going to stick uh, and you can pull these up and down. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and thank you so much for joining.